Hello everyone, my name is Bruno Marquez and I'm your English teacher. I want to start this class by asking you guys, do you have any questions about the class? Or any questions about learning English or a difficult grammar topic you want to improve? Yes, teacher, I have an important question to ask you, please. May I? Sure, come here. Come here, so everyone can listen to you, and also the answer, please. Hi, teacher, it's nice to meet you. My name is Joshua, and I have a question. It's a pleasure, Joshua. Tell us, what is your question? How can I help you? I really want to know something. All the teachers we had told us, you have to think in English. And I know it's important to think in English, to speak in English, but how do we do that? All our previous teachers told us to think in English, but they never told us how to do that. Oh, I know what you mean, and yeah, you're right. Teachers usually doesn't tell you how. Well, I hope everyone is paying attention, because I'm going to tell you how to think in English. Thinking in a foreign language is essential. It increases fluency and allows you to connect with people from different cultural backgrounds. You don't necessarily need to move to an English-speaking country. If you already have a basic or intermediate level of English, don't use a bilingual dictionary. I remember spending hours looking up words and definitions in an English-only dictionary. I prefer to use paper dictionaries, as it helps me to memorize words better, but it depends on you. When you search for a word, turning page after page, you naturally repeat it in your head. By the time you find the meaning, you remember the word. It's amazing. Also, change one of the device or application settings to English. It really helps. There are many things that you use daily in your life, such as mobile, Facebook, shopping list, and calendar. Choose one of these things every day and change the settings to English. You have to get used to dealing with them in English, and if there is difficulty understanding some menus or words, translate them to understand their meaning. It takes hard work, but it's worth it. What else? Oh, something that it's really helpful is to talk to yourself all the time. I know it may sound crazy, but it really works. When you do this, you imagine yourself talking to someone else. You ask questions and think about responses. This is a great way to practice what you might say in a real conversation. For example, let's say that an imaginary person asks you a question like, hmm... What do you think about the English lecture today? How would you answer? Imagine the conversation and practice it in your head. You can do it out loud or in silence. Or what I used to do was to ask myself, 
how was your day today? And I had to answer. Oh, my day was not good. I had a problem at work. I lost some money and the food was awful. You can talk about many different things, topics. It's like having a partner to practice with always. Or what you can also do is to think about a situation in English. Yeah. During your day, choose one of your situations or activities and think about it in English. For example, you will meet your friends today. Think about this situation from A to Z, but in English. What to wear, what transportation to use, where to meet your friends, and so on. Repeat this exercise daily and choose different situations. It can be funny. Describe unknown words. Another exercise that really helps is describing your mind objects you don't know the word for. An example could be if you couldn't think of the word mm, garage. If you're looking at your house and you see your garage, but you can't think of the name in English, you can say the place inside where I put my car, or you can say it's next to my house, I keep things there. You can also use shorter phrases such as it's similar to or it's the opposite of. Also, think in sentences. For example, if you are sitting in a park, you can tell yourself things like it's such a beautiful day and people are playing sports with their friends. I usually do that. Once this becomes easy, you can move on to more difficult sentences. And something important. Try to say these sentences or try to put the words together without thinking too much about if it's absolutely correct. It will help you to increase your fluency. It may also sound a little crazy, but it's a great exercise. Describe your day. I was telling you something about it before. Describe your day. I woke up really late today. I took the bus and arrived late to work. I ate fried chicken. Or also make plans for your day. For example, when I leave the house, I'm going to get a nice coffee. Then I'll take the train to class. I'm studying with Paola today. She said she booked a study room for 2 p.m. Here you will be able to use different grammar topics. This will help you a lot to improve your English. Many students don't like to write because nowadays we have technology, which helps. But something you have to do is take notes. And I'm going to tell you why you should do this. For all those exercises, there will, of course, be words and phrases that you do not know. So at some point, you will need to use a dictionary if your skill level is high enough. You might consider to use an English to English dictionary, as I told you before. Keeping a notebook helps you remember the situation that you needed that word or phrase for. This makes it easy to recall when you are in such a situation again. So take notes. The biggest challenge is dealing with the frustration that comes with not being able to express yourself fully. 
The key is positive thinking and staying motivated. Don't give up. Finally, practice it daily. How much time should you spend on these exercises? Well, do a little every day. So when you're doing it every day, over and over again, little by little, that's the key. Because when you make things a habit, then it just pops up into your mind without thinking and then before you know it really you're thinking in English track your activities to learn the language you should keep track of your daily activities related to the English language continuous follow-up will help you continue developing and give you a sense of accomplishment. So do not stop doing this and follow up on what you've accomplished. I hope these tips can help you think in English, Joshua. What do you think? I will absolutely put these tips into practice. You've helped me a lot, teacher. Thank you. No, it's my pleasure. If you have any questions, just let me know by commenting on this video. Go and have a seat, because we need to start with the class. Thank you for your attention. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.